The NHS in the UK have officially announced that Palantir have been awarded the FDP NHS contract. It's official. We have finally received the news that we have been waiting on for such a long time. After so many delays, today on the 21st of November 2023, it is finally official. So Palantir will be the suppliers of the FDP to the NHS. Now this contract is super important for many reasons that we'll talk about in just a second, but it's also worth pointing out that Palantir will be supported. Um, it will be a joint partnership with two other companies, Accenture, which we already knew about, Accenture, however you wanna say that one, and also Carnal Farah, which is a company I've not personally heard of. Palantir will be the main drivers in this contract, but they will have the support of these two other companies. We're not that sure on what they'll actually do, and we will read the official NHS announcement about this in just a second. It'll be the first time that I'm actually reading this, so super excited about that. But yeah, this contract is big news. It's big news as we've been speaking about on this channel because it's one of those catalysts in Palantir's lifetime that means many different things. Firstly, obviously, £480 million is a substantial amount of money. Now, I'm not, again, sure on the split between Palantir and these two other companies, but aside from the money, this is really significant because Palantir are actually a pretty small company in the grand scheme of things. They are nowhere near as big as the likes of Microsoft or Apple or any of those mega, mega tech companies. So, quote unquote, little old Palantir over here are now in charge of transforming the, the whole of the UK's uh, healthcare service in terms of data. That is insane. That is such a stamp of recognition. And it's really cool to see because there has been a lot of misinformation, especially by the UK media about how Palantir are not the right company to handle this. There's even been like some legal battles and campaigns and how Palantir are a so-called spy company and they'll be stealing and selling data. So this is a really, really big moment. It's a big moment for anyone that's been following the company, who anyone that invests into the company and anyone in the UK that just wants to see the NHS get better. Also, it obviously means that Palantir are valuable enough and have shown enough value working with the NHS previously that they are responsible. They've been given that responsibility now to actually be the supplier of the FDP. This means, being that valuable, that we should expect them to carry on integrating into different healthcare organisations and providing their value there. We might expect to see that actually they work with more uh, public healthcare organisations around the world and in Europe, and again with private organisations too. Healthcare is a sector that they are providing true value, and it's really, really exciting to see them get this NHS contract because that is an extension of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the letter now and then we're going to have a look at the stock price because it might not be doing what you expected it to do on this news. Before we do that, I also just want to say that from a UK, I'm, I live in the UK and I am very excited to see what this will mean for the NHS actually improving. Right now we have very disjointed data. It takes a long time to get seen. There are waiting time issues, many, many issues and hopefully having this FDP, having it supplied by Palantir will really help the NHS improve. That is what I'm most excited about. I am way more excited about the potential benefits for the NHS as a patient with family that use the NHS every single day than I am about the investor side of it, which obviously I'm very excited about as well. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to take a look at the official announcement from the NHS and then we'll look at the stock price. So here it is. This is the official document, the letter, the announcement that Palantir, uh, the NHS have put out today about Palantir. 21st of November, new NHS software to improve care for millions of patients. The way that they are announcing this, I imagine was something that they were thinking long and hard about because of all the concerns out there about data, people selling data, Palantir in this case, or will, will this US company have access to my data? What does an FDP do? So there was a lot of concern, I imagine, but let's just see how they've actually gone about this. The NHS will roll out new software from spring next year. So that's, that's when it's kicking off. To deliver better joined up care for millions of patients, help tackle waiting lists and reduce hospital discharge delays. The software will bring together existing NHS data. No new data is collected, making it easier for staff to access key information to provide improved and more timely patient care. The new tool known as the FDP will join up key information currently held in separate NHS systems to tackle some of the big challenges the healthcare service 
faces coming out of the pandemic. By bringing together real-time data, such as the number of beds in a hospital, the size of elective waiting lists, staff rosters, the availability of medical supply and social care places, staff can plan and maximise resources such as operating theatre and outpatient clinic time to ensure patients receive more timely care. The patient is the end user. This is what's important. The patient will have a better NHS. Following an open and competitive tender process, the contract to provide the software has been awarded to a group led by Palantir Technologies UK with support from Accenture, uh, PwC. Oh, I didn't know about that. There's more companies here. PwC, NECS and Carnal Farrah. So it's a real joint collective effort here. Palantir, again, are going to be the main drivers with some consultancy and some support from these other companies. Maybe they need them. Maybe they need the help there for whatever reason. Or maybe it's just a way of actually giving trust and providing trust in the UK population because these other names are ones that they're familiar with. I'm not sure. The contract award will uh, see investment over the course of seven years as more trusts join the platform. In the first contract year, investment is expected to be at least 25.6 million. Over the contractual period of seven years, there will be up to 330 million investment in the FDP. Okay, so that's how it's going to work in terms of how the money's going to be split up over those years. This is interesting. No company involved in the FDP can access health and care data without the explicit permission of the NHS. We knew that as Palantir researchers. All data within the platform is under the control of the NHS. This has been highlighted. They've tried to say this, but this is a really important part of their announcement to install trust into the British public. And it will only be used for direct care and planning. It's not going to be sold. It's not going to be used to look at personal information or anything like that. It will not be used to access data for research purposes. So it's not the same as that care.data scheme that was ran in the UK between 2013 and failed in 2016. And GP data will not feed into the national version of this. Pilot projects using the new data sharing approach have seen a drop in waiting times for planned care and discharge delays and seen faster diagnosis and treatment times. The pilots of the FDP showed real benefit. Palantir's work within the NHS before this whole FDP contract has been announced, again, real benefits. And it goes on to say 36% um, decrease in long-term stays and 7.7% more patients being admitted to the hospital. This is great. So the NHS National Director for Transformation said this, Better use of data is essential for the NHS to tackle waiting times. Join up patient care and make the health service sustainable for the future. Patients come to the NHS at some of the most vulnerable points of their lives, and they want to know that our healthcare teams have access to the best possible information when it comes to their care and treatment. This new tool provides a safe and secure environment to bring together data, which enables us to develop and deliver more responsive services for patients and will help the health service drive the recovery in elective care. Following the award of the contract for the FDP platform this week, there will be a six month implementation period where products supported by the current platform will be transitioned across. Every hospital trust and local health system will have their own version of the software, which enables them to connect and share information between them. For example, as they discharge a patient from hospital into a care setting, this is so important for patients because they won't have to keep repeating information. There will be less delays, etc., etc. It will help trusts, regions, local care systems to apply the lessons learned from the vaccination uh, campaign to deliver faster and more informed and joined up patient care. And will also help the NHS tackle long term challenges like preventing ill health and reducing hospital stays. The new FDP platform builds on the success of the current national data platform for which the contract is about to come to an end. Rigorous integration of local data during the pandemic allowed health services to better anticipate the virus, identify and protect the most vulnerable, put resources where they're needed, and then deliver the most precise vaccination program in history. So what has Alex Karp had to say about this? By the way, Alex Karp has just sold 585,000 shares at $21 dollars uh, 50 cents palantir shares he's had a nice few days he's made like 12 million dollars on that sale and now he's got the nhs contract so early merry christmas to alex carp let's see what he has to say and then we'll take a look at the stock price if there's nothing else in here that we need to look at i will leave this linked in the description please read it all it will be very interesting to know how the nhs have actually announced this deal so alex carp has said 
This award is the accumulation of 20 years of developing software that enables complex, sensitive data to be integrated in a way that protects security, respects privacy, and puts the customer in full control. There is no more important institution in the UK than the NHS, 100% agree. And we are humbled to have now been chosen to provide that software across England to help bring down waiting lists, improve patient care, and reduce health inequalities. It builds on our role supporting the delivery of the COVID-19 vaccination vaccine, and more recently, helping individual NHS trusts to schedule more operations. The FDP platform will also the FDP will also be the first use case in the NHS of privacy enhancing technology, a nationally assured a nationally assured and uh, funded privacy tool to benefit all NHS organisations. It will ensure that the NHS can meet the highest technical standards of security for managing patient data, supported by robust information governance and data protection processes. The procurement for the NHS PET has been run separately from the FDP and the suppliers are deliberately different. NHS and PET... Oh, I've just... Sorry, Alex Karp's section stopped there above and this carries on. I didn't see the uh, the, question, uh, the quotes then and I was wondering why he was speaking about the uh, NHS PET makes a lot more sense now. We'll be an independent service ensuring that treatment of patient uh, of data is separate from the storage of data to safeguard data and ensure that it is always kept safe and secure. And then it's going to go on to talk about some of the benefits that are seen, what different um, important people are saying about this. And then it gives how the FDP will initially be focused on supporting the five key NHS priorities. I think that's the most important bits of the letter. I will include it in the description. But hey, let's just have a look at what the Palantir, what Palantir stock is doing right now, because it's going a bit crazy. So what we can see that on the day, Palantir stock is down by 3.14% right now. I think this is a classic case of buy the rumor, sell the news. Lots of people are taking profit. And obviously we've had Alex Karp along with other board members and directors actually selling substantial amounts of shares yesterday and over the last few days. But remember, although it's dropped quite significantly today, uh, over the last one year, Palantir stock is still up 223.4%, which is absolutely nuts. Incredible, incredible performance there. Very excited to finally get to make this video. Let me know all of your thoughts, whether you actually thought that it would get announced today in the comments below. If you want to come and join the Patreon so you can continue talking about this deal on Palantir, as a whole, join the Discord, join the Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video very shortly.